we're not going to be able to isolate one of the square roots. If I move this one to the right hand side, then it's together with a 17. Same goes for the other one. So I give up trying to isolate and jump right to squaring both sides and preparing myself to deal with something that's only temporarily going to be messy. When I square both sides, Seventeen squared is two hundred and eighty-nine. Quick double check of that. Yep. The squaring, because of the addition, is not going to cancel these out. I'm multiplying by itself. It's like a binomial times a binomial. And there is a shortcut for doing this squaring when you square a binomial. I would multiply the square root of x minus 9 by itself. I'm squaring it. So that is square root of x minus 9 squared. It's going to cancel out. Same thing for the square root of x plus 144. But in between, if you do this with FOIL, you'll have this square root times the other square root plus another copy of that multiplication of those square roots in reverse order. The reverse order won't matter. You get the same product. And the product rule for radicals tells us that we can put those together under a single square root. For the moment, that does look worse. I'll admit that. But let's combine the like terms that are outside. 2x plus 144 minus 9 would be plus 135 plus two times this messy radical. If I continue with combining like terms outside of the radical, uh, 289 minus 135, we've got 154. So let's bring this up here. Two X plus two times that messy square root. Equals the 154. Two x plus the messy square root, two times that, that is, equals 154. Everything is even, so I'm going to divide all of those coefficients that are outside of the square root by 2. And 154 divided by 2, I believe it's 76. Nope, it's 77. Nope. Well, at least there's one square root now, whereas there were two. I'm going to subtract the x that's outside. And 
and then I'm going to square both sides to save some space. I'm going to erase some of this earlier work, but I want to see the original equation so we can do our check. Squaring both sides, we'll be left with no more square root here. And negative x plus 77 squared, if we use the shortcut I was talking about earlier, negative x squared is the same as x squared. 77 squared is 5,929, but we cannot forget what's in between. Multiply negative x and 77 and double that. So that we've got minus 154x in between. When we foil out the left-hand side, x squared plus 144x minus 9x would be plus 135x. Negative 9 times 144, we've got minus 1296. And although these numbers look terrible, the x squareds, there's only one x squared on both sides. Subtract Add 154x, that is. To the other side, add 1296. Okay, we got to back up a little bit here. This was 5,929. And when we add 5,929 plus 1,296, we've got 72,25. Divide both sides by 289. And X is 25. So let's see if that checks out. want to see if this is going to equal 17. Well, that's square root of 16. So square root of 169 equals 4 plus 13, which is 17 as desired. So we keep that solution x equals 25.